Hey everybody, in less than two minutes, I'm gonna show you how to use an audio unit effect in Cubasis, GarageBand, and AUM. Let's start with AUM. First, you're gonna hit the little plus icon in the middle there. Then at the top, you're gonna hit audio unit extension. Then scroll down and look for rack reverb. Boom, there it is. Now you can resize it, make it work for you. You can make it look however you want. Uh, I've got the bypass on so you could hear it without the reverb. Now you can hear it with reverb as I jam over this song I'm working on. You can also use this great sounding reverb in GarageBand. The most important thing to remember with this is you don't hit the effects, you hit the mixer icon, those three little sliders at the top. Then click on plugins in a queue, then the edit button on the top right, and then you could click on a rack to add an audio unit extension. Here I'm gonna scroll down to rack reverb. Nice. Now I can have studio quality reverb and garage bands. Here's a new song I'm working on with my friend Megan. It's just recorded into the iPhone microphone, no effects or anything. Let's see if we can make it sound good with audio kit reverb. Dang, that sounds pretty good. The only effect is a reverb. All right, cool. Now let's add an effect to Cubasis 3. You can add it as either an insert effect or a send effect. I'm gonna add it as an insert effect. Then I'm gonna click tap to add effect, then audio units, then scroll down to rack reverb. Now the controls on this are super simple. You may be asking what low cut is though. It prevents things from being too boomy. Here, let me illustrate. Here's this drum beat with low cut off. Now I turn it on and it gets nice and crispy. There you have it. Thanks for watching.